Mm -hmm. Hi, Captain Jack here speaking for Papa Skinny's Farm, where I lived and where I was born. This Sunday, my daughter pulls seven racks out from our beehive, and today we're going to extract honey. Now, the full video runs a couple hours, so we're not going to show you the whole thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you points of honey extraction, or how we get our honey, and how, how honey's done, I guess. Uh, the first part is going to be they're cutting the ends off of, of the cells. Now, this is a drawing, I think you can see it, I hope. This is what a typical honey cell looks like. Well, the bees fill, they have the bottom is capped, as you can see. There's a little, whoop, wrong way, there's a little cap. Well, they fill it with honey. And then they put a cap on the top. So it's a capsule of pure honey. Now the bees wait until they have the moisture content out of it. There's no water in honey. Um, there isn't water in honey you buy in the store, but they're not in real honey. Uh, so what the first thing the girls are going to be doing is they're going to be cutting this top and this bottom off of the cells of honey so that we can then extract that honey uh, and put it in jars and all that. So that's the first thing you're going to see is them with one of the seven um, racks uh, where the honeycomb and the honey is stored, where the bees store that. And I'm going to be showing you how you take those two top and the bottom off of those cells. So let's go ahead and get started with that, and then I'll come back and talk to you later about what else we're doing. Make sure we didn't wipe out a whole comb. No, well, we're not wiping out any comb right now. All we're doing is uncapping it. I just said it on the thing. And that's kind of the problem. It'd be. Mm -hmm. What? It, it, watch your fingers now, because I'm going to tell you what, it gets hot. It's hot hotter than it looks. <laughs> what, what does uncapping it mean? Cutting the ends of it off so it'll drain out, right? Mm -hmm. The top, they seal it. Oh, okay. They seal um, all of the. Okay. It's kind of like a capsule. It's got an end on it. When it's sealed, that means they have all the moisture, all the water contents out of okay. it. Okay. You know, it's got to be kind of a sugary, kind of white um, color. Right. Mm -hmm. If it's still wet looking when you mm -hmm. pull it out, it has uh, <laughs> water in it. Is she after my hands? No, no. but she was over there. You just good thing you wasn't watching. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> and so uh, you want to make sure that it's all capped. And that way you know the water content. That's the only time your honey will go bad is when there's still water contents in it. Okay. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Looks like to me that knife should be a little bit shorter. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like, yeah. It's, it's there's a lot of things that I would, uh, I would, uh, you, you know, you sometimes, yeah, sometimes I think these architects aren't the ones that's out doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they're not. Also seems like there could be a frame that would hold it. I do have a big plastic tub thing that you can put it in and all. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things, the more times you move your honey from one thing to you're losing honey. Okay. Cause, yeah. Uh, Is that going to be good enough? Mm -hmm. You want me to take that little brush and brush some of that loose off of it? or? Okay, no, nope, you got to do the back side. You may turn it around so she can video you. Ooh. I see this isn't a one man job, it don't matter what they say. <laughs> Let's see how it could be. Let me turn it around for you. Ooh, that one never sealed off, and then it's pretty level, it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's got one. There's one high spot right there. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I had a friend in high school whose dad raised bees. But he used a hot water. I 
Now, after you cap it and we spin it mm -hmm. on these here, what I would do and what I do with mine is I put them in a unscented trash bag mm -hmm. and put them in your freezer to keep wax moths out of them. Okay. Because when it comes springtime and you want to do honey again, you're giving them a little heads up. They don't have to make their cone. All they have to do is start filling it. Yeah, Ron said, he goes, he goes I think you're supposed to, you're not supposed to... Um, uh, do both do. sides. I, well, I was trying to, I don't know. It's just as good as mine. It's got a kind of a, a dip here. I'm mm. trying not to gouge it, but some places the honey is yeah, just... Yeah, they'll, they'll, mm. they'll refix it and all, but... Yeah, but they start with something instead of just... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this stuff that you're cutting off, what do you do with it? We will let it drain out, and then you can let it dry out. And that's what you use to make your candles. You can put in with uh, making salves or ointments. Oh, okay, and, okay. Uh, this is beeswax. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is beeswax. The honey right? will drain through. Yeah, right, okay. and what we can do also is after it kind of drains through, you can kind of spread it out on Ooh. something and set it outside, and the bees will um, clean thing, it up. One thing about it on this, though, it won't hurt. What's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to... You missed the bucket there. Missed the bucket, but I don't think it's a big deal. Now, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, that's okay. We'll set it outside and let the bees clean up the honey, because they'll mm -hmm. clean up the wax and all. And they'll also, if you don't watch it and leave it long enough, they'll take all the wax and put it back into the hive. But, um... Get that door open, you're going to start calling bees in here. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> Okay, open our little door. Let's see if I can remember. Turn it away. I have to put the wooden things towards the. Uh, so you put four of them in there? Uh huh. Okay. And what is that? Okay. What is that thing called that this you're is putting a it in? Wire one, but we can still do the same. An extractor. An extractor. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's called a honey honey extractor or just mm -hmm. extractor. What's that? Captain Jack back with you from Pop Skinny's farm. Now the girls have done four of those trays. They have uncapped them on both sides. They've taken the cap off of the uh, honey capsule, if you will. So now the next thing you do is to an extractor. Uh, we have an extractor here at the farm, and it is a big stainless steel thing that uses centrifugal force, and it spins really, really fast. Uh, a gate shuts to push the honey out and down to the bottom at the collector. Now you do it uh, quite a bit. You do it, of course, for every one, and then sometimes, of course, you have to fix it where you have maybe only two. It'll hold four. It'll hold four of them, but let's say you only have two. and It's like a washing machine. You don't want one in there because it's going to do this all over the place. I mean a dryer or a washing machine. So you have one here and one there so they'll even each other up. So the next process in this is the extraction of the combs themselves. Okay, that's what you're going to be watching next. Uh, they're going to be cranking on that. My daughter Terry's going to be cranking on that extractor handle and let's just go see how she does it. This is the one that was coming apart. I had to turn it around. Okay, ready? Got it. hurt in here. It just sits down the bottom end. Yeah. Okay. okay. The cap's closed. Somebody get the spinning. Okay. Roll it, roll it. Yeah, you just... I guess it doesn't matter which way you go, does it? Uh-uh. Probably need to go both ways, actually, huh? One way and two. Uh, we'll do it one way, and then we'll uh, turn them around and... <laughs> that thing it wants to yeah it it wants to walk walk off of it. Yeah, you switch. Oh, it'll do it on the frame too. Oh, yeah. That's why it's got. See those things? They're they're missing. But there's um, 
It's cold right there, and there's places in there. You know what mine down. is? Yeah, mine has a chain thing on it. And on the, on the frame, it has the hole that you want to put it on the floor. And then uh, it has chains in them, like dog hooks or whatever you call them. This one, we just realized when we were just time, because we didn't really look at it. We knew what it was, but we didn't really look at it because we didn't want to get any of these, so we didn't see anything. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we got some honey down there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm swinging it out. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me see it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, see how it's, how it's empty on that side? Mm -hmm. And it still has some on that side, more mm -hmm. or less? Yeah, because it's swinging it uh -huh. out. You have to turn around. Yeah, you have to turn them around. Okay, do that, Virginia. Yeah. You put the uh, notch towards the middle part, and that way it helps hold it. Okay. Secure on towards that bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't lay over. Huh? Sometimes more secure than you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they spun it in there, didn't it? My thing is, I always have to try to remember which way they were going, yeah. and which way I'm turning it. Yeah, that's the one. I keep trying to hang on to it, though. All right, we'll just get rid of that one, won't we? All right, you gotta do is just fix it. That nail's okay. Out. Okay, now do we want to go in the same direction? It don't matter. Yeah, I think. All right, mine only goes one direction. Does yours go two directions? I don't know. Well, you might not have to turn them. You might just be able to do uh, a... No, we think so. It's on the outside. So it's still be stuck. It's just like no washing. Oh, So you just turn it till it seems right. Mm -hmm. Then you turn it until you stop turning it and then you check it and mm -hmm. turn it again. Would be my guess, and that's that bad one. It's kind of leaving on your box now. Yeah. Okay, see? Your honey's out of it. Sure. Awesome. That is a lot different. Okay, and I guess just mm -hmm. set it back in there. I guess. Well. You see now how the extractor works. Pretty simple. What you do is you put it in there and you spin that extractor and it extracts the honey and it goes down into the bottom of that stainless steel uh, extractor where later on we'll be pouring honey out of. Now if you notice that bucket that they've been working over, they've been scraping the pieces all over, well that bucket has a filter on the bottom of it. And that filter is allowing us to keep the scrapings, uh, the, the caps, and the pieces of honeycomb that get in there. It allows them to stay on the top while the honey itself slowly seeps through that filter into that bucket. Because you don't want to waste any honey. Honey is very precious stuff to us where we have to, we make it by hand, we make our own. Um, if you ever go to, somebody ever lets you go into a commercial honey processing plant, you probably will want to eat honey again because <laughs> they do it a whole lot different because you have to I guess when you're making five million bottles or something like that well we make what our, our bees make less the amount that we leave over to, for them to start and for them to live through the winter with we 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 never take everything away you, uh, you can do it that way and then you lose all your bees 
So we keep enough in the hive, and we keep enough, like Terry's talking about, spreading it out, and let the bees come to it. They'll find it and say, oh my golly, the fountain of youth. This is already honey. We don't have to go through and process it. This is already beeswax. We don't have to go through and process it. And it will keep them nice and happy all the winter. So now you've seen this uh, knock the caps off. Now you've seen the girls do the extraction. So let's go ahead and show you the next part of the process. Next time I'll know to have uh -huh. a thing. Throw the lens right behind you and I will ring this. That's what you did for me. Oh, and I didn't take your bees. I stopped down at I the cemetery. I, <laughs> I, I stopped at the cemetery and took my brush out there and I brushed them off. And you when see I, my got pose to, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so when she came, no, we did that play. on the back. I mm -hmm. had to play. Of, uh, <laughs> she, we did it on the back of the truck. Here it comes. Here comes the stove. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at it. Wow. Oh, look at there. Oh, sure. yeah. There you go. I don't think you let us lean that away anyway. So. The Beatles. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. That's what I was going to you. They get all the weight on one side. Right, yep. I thought it might stay, but... But no. no. But no. Running out of there slow as honey, ain't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it might slide on that table now. I got my shoulder on it. Now I know it's not the the, the container. It looks like it's gonna be the dark honey. But it looks yeah, like it it's dark. looks like it's about to overflow that five it's got gallon about bucket. An inch. Don't say that. It does have about an inch. <clears throat> no, that's that that's bucket the that they put in. That's the filter that they put in. Yeah, the bucket will hold it, I think. All right. The bucket's only about two inches. That's yeah. the case. You got the bucket a minute? Mm-hmm. You can turn it this way. Can I want you to come over here and sit, then if you're going to do it. Now, you know how gravity works. Don't wait until it gets to the top to shut no. it off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when I say things like that, it's not because I'm a know-it-all. It's, right. it's, it's because it, it's a lesson it's of life. Right. <laughs> Been there, <laughs> done, done that. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mental note. Yeah, there's a lot of mental notes. That's what, that's okay, what mental I tell note. people. I tell people, I said, if I'm telling you something, it's not because I'm a know-it-all. It's just because I have already Because I've already done that. <laughs> and I know. <laughs> and I may not know it all, but by golly, I know that. Yes. <laughs> Y'all got to get this one out of here. What? That is running out of there fast, Yeah, fast, fast. yeah. Yeah. You can take them to the top. You're almost there. There you go. Should be about an inch down, ain't it? No, Ooh, it's that right is like one. molasses honey. Oh, yeah. Dark. Yeah. And don't ask me. It just depends on what they feed off of, and I have no idea because we got um, dark honey like that one too. And oh my gosh, it was the best honey there you know ever what? was. I think it may also be because of the lack of water this year. Could be that it's you know it wasn't it's diluted super concentrated. From there. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I could just be making that up, but it sounds really good. Sounds it good. Sounds, sounds plausible. That man is full. <laughs> Close enough though, huh? Charles, what are you freaking QC well, over there, no, boy? I was, I was watching. I didn't want you to overflow it. <laughs> I know I can see it better from your side than you can from you. Yeah. Why do you think I let her have that job? Yeah. It's <laughs> hard to judge looking straight I'm, down. That's if why. It, if it goes anywhere, it's on her and not me. Yeah. I'm not there wasting you go. her honey. Yeah. <laughs> and she's one's gonna have to mop the floor anyway, so. <laughs> That is just so freaking cool, I can't hardly stand yeah, it. Yeah, that is wonderful. Isn't that awesome? It is. Now, you look like you have a lot of honey, but when you start using it, you yeah, really you don't, don't have that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you go to stores and you see these places that selling honey that have 
50 million and are there every day, mm -hmm. you know no. they are not a true bee farm mm -hmm. raising I mean, yeah, their I'm own. Fine. No. Because you see, yeah. which is one high. Hi, welcome back. Well, you seen the whole thing? I ain't no more. First, you get you a bunch of happy bees. And you provide them with crops, and they help us because they pollinate our crops. And then you remove the trays, take the caps off both ends of the honey capsules, spin them up in the extractor, filter them. The extractor has its own filters, by the way, internally. You What you've got left over, you put in that bucket. It has its filters in it, and everything drains down. Then you just put them in a, a jar, and you've got, real honest to God, locally produced honey. That's the way they've been doing it for 154 years here on Papa Skinny's farm, with the exception we have modern extractors and stuff like that. I want to thank all of you for coming by. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please give us a like. Please make any comments. Now, we do it our way. You may have another way. Now, me a million ways to do it. One thing I do want you to remember that the bees put a natural antibiotic in their honey. They put a natural antihistamine to keep you from if if you if you uh, have big allergies and all. Try some real home, local area honey. Because the local area honey has those against what's making you sneeze a lot. The honey from Southern California won't do any good here in East Texas. You need to get that. We're glad you came. We enjoyed it. Process is easy. Bees, happy bees, extraction, and pour it up. Let me show you something before we go. Let me make my ukulele stay there. Now this is a special jar. Because you see, when I was a boy, World War II was going on. And we didn't have a lot of frippery. You couldn't go down and get bubble gum a lot. Or any kind of other gum, as a matter of fact. So, you learn that and you're taught. This is pure honeycomb not been extracted or anything. That's going to make the best chewing gum you ever had in your life. If I don't chew fast, I can make this last half an hour or even longer. Captain Jack, with your friend Billy Bones the parrot, thanking all of our little honeys, bees, thanking Terry and Jenny, and the two people who came over to help us. Got a comment? Make it. Got a like? We hope you do. Till we see you next time from Papa Skinny's Farm, Captain Jack saying, Idios. <laughs>